Hello my friends, today we're gonna make a freaking huge future bounce drop similar to Mesto in FL Studio 20. Alright guys, we'll start by making some emotional chords. Then let's make a nice melody on top. Now that we're done with the melody we can begin on making the drop. We'll begin by making a fat bass line. And then we're gonna build the rest of the drop using the bass line as the foundation. We'll start by making a bass line with some nice glide notes. Then let's add some more bass layers to make it bigger. Now let's add a sub bass layer. The sub bass will be playing the same bass line as the rest of the layers. But I also added these notes to fill out these four pauses in the bass line. To make the bass more energetic, we're also gonna add the scrowl layer on top. I use this vital preset. Playing the bass line only without the glide notes. Guys, now that we have a decent sounding bass line, we'll add some nice mixing effects to make the bass hit a lot harder. We're gonna begin by mixing the mid bass. I started by adding an EQ to shape the sound. Then I added a lot of compression using OTT. Then an EQ removing some ugly high frequencies created by the OTT. Some distortion and compression using Camel Crusher. EQ, a soundizer to add some more power. And two more EQs to add some final touches. This my friends is what the mid bass sounds like without the mixing effects. And this is with. Now we're gonna quickly mix the sub bass. We're gonna take it from this. To this. In order to do that we're gonna add distortion with fruity fast dist. Compression with OTT. A soundizer to add some more power. And an EQ removing the highs. This is what the full bass line sounds like. I added this white noise sample, playing the same rhythm as the bass line to add some more energy to the bass. I also added this percussion sample to highlight the rhythm of the bass. This is what the bass sounds like without the white noise and percussion. And this is with. Nice. Now that we have a solid and powerful bass line, we can use the bass line as a foundation by adding more and more elements on top of it. We'll begin by adding some nice drums and effects on top. If we make a bass and drums part that sounds really good, it will be very easy to make the rest of the drop sound good as well. So we need the bass and drums to be as tight and powerful as possible. We'll begin with a kick and some claps. Then we'll add some bass stabs to make the bass line more powerful. And lastly we'll add some energy samples. Now we have a good foundation for the drop and we can finally have some fun and add more elements on top. The first thing we're gonna add are some nice chords. We'll start with a serum layer playing these chords. Then we're gonna add some more chord layers to make the chords fatter.
Now guys, let's mix the chords. We want the chords to add as much energy to the drop as possible, so we're gonna try to make them as fat and dirty as possible. We'll begin with an EQ taking down a bit of these harsh high frequencies, then compression using OTT, some distortion with fruity fast dist, some more compression and distortion using Camel Crusher, another EQ, a soundizer to add some more power, a final EQ for some finishing touches, and a fruity stereo shaper to make the chords wider. This guys is what the chords sound like without the mixing effects. And this is with. This is what we have so far guys. It sounds cool, but we're also gonna make some filler chords to fill out these four breaks. I added these two chord layers. Playing these filler chords. To make the filler chords bigger and more powerful, I added a few mixing effects. I added a stereo shaper to make them wider, an EQ, compression using OTT, a soundizer to add some power, another EQ, some more compression using Camel Crusher, and a final EQ. This my friends is what the filler chords sound like without the mixing effects. And this is with. To make the filler chords hit harder, I added some sound effects on top. I added these two short effects that follow the same rhythm as the filler chords. And this percussion sound that also follows the same rhythm. This is what the filler chords sound like without the extra sound effects. And this is with. As you can hear it makes them stand out a lot more. Adding small effects like this on top of your melodic elements can make your drop hit a lot harder. Now we're gonna add some nice harmony chords on top to add some more emotion to the drop. I used a simple saw layer playing these harmonies. And I controlled them with this cutoff automation. As you can hear, the harmony chords add a bit more emotion to the drop, which is nice. Now guys, I think we have a quite solid beat. The last thing remaining now is to take it from a beat to a full drop. And we're gonna do that by creating a freaking huge lead. But first, I would truly appreciate it if you subscribed and turned on post notifications. Guys, since we have a quite powerful beat, the focus of the lead won't be to add as much power to the drop as possible. We instead want to focus on making the lead as big and wide as possible. We'll begin with a serum layer playing the lead melody. Now let's add a few more layers to make the lead bigger. Guys now we're gonna mix the lead. We wanna make it as big and crisp as possible. Since the bass chords and drums are very powerful on their own, we need to make the lead very big in order to fit in the mix. We're gonna begin with an EQ to clean up the sound a bit. After that we're gonna add quite a bit of compression using OTT. Then another EQ to lower the ugly and harsh frequencies created by the OTT. Distortion and compression using Camel Crusher. EQ, a soundizer to add more power. And a final EQ to clean up the lead a bit more. I also added this fruity phaser and took the mix down to about 20%, which adds this cool and weird sound to the lead. And lastly I added a fruity stereo shaper to make the lead a bit wider. This my friends is what the lead sounds like without all of the mixing effects. And this is with. Now guys, I'm gonna show you some tricks I use to make the lead bigger and more interesting. We're starting with this. We're gonna begin by adding a volume automation for the lead to make it sound more controlled. As you can see, the volume goes down every time the filler chords are playing. Now we're gonna add a pitch automation for the lead to make the melody sound more interesting.
We're also gonna add a reverb and control it using this reverb automation. Now guys we're gonna add a vocal shot on top of the lead which is playing the entire lead melody. And we're also gonna add some synth shots that play on some of the lead notes to make parts of the melody hit harder. This is what the lead sounds like without the vocal chop and synth shots. And this is with. As you can hear, they add quite a bit of bigness and power to the lead. Now guys we're gonna add a cutoff automation controlling the lead as well as the vocal chop and synth shots. This my friends is what the lead sounds like without the cutoff automation. And this is with. It makes the lead sound a bit more unique. Alright guys, that was all of the elements of the drop, but before I show you the final result I would truly appreciate it if you checked my future house sample pack. Link is in the description. Alright guys, here's the final result. If you liked the video please be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys.